Hello Duelists! Russ Mero here and today we are going to be opening Structure Deck R, Machina's Command! First up as usual we have a half playmat for the deck featuring three of the new Machina's monsters including their new ace Machina's Colonel. Now let's take a look at the deck itself as a Structure Deck R. This is supposed to be an updated version of the original Machina's Command Structure Deck which in the TCG used to be known as Machina Mayhem if I'm not wrong. The reason why I'm calling it Machina's is because that's how it's spelled in the Japanese OCG so I'm just gonna call it that for accuracy's sake. First up we have the brand new Ace Monster, Machina's Colonel which I think is just Design-wise, at least a complete epic overhaul and upgrade from the old fortress, which I didn't like that much. This monster cannot be normal summoned and can only be special summoned by the effects of cards. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, during either player's turn, so this is a quick effect, target one machine type monster on your field and destroy all monsters on your opponent's field with attack power less than the attack of that monster. So... First of all, if you're gonna pull this effect off, essentially you already have Colonel on the field. So at the very least, you are bombing every single monster on the opponent's field with 3k attack or less. And that is basically most of the game already and that is really sick just by also being a quick effect which can be activated during the opponent's turn because if your opponent is like doing playing some kind of combo deck which requires bringing out a lot of monsters at once and then combining them as material to bring out the boss you can basically blow up the materials before the boss even comes out depending on how the situation goes your way so that that's pretty intense and i like it's just such a simple yet effective effect to make this card that Although it has roots in a very old form of Yu-Gi-Oh, kind of modernized and more like applicable and somewhat usable in the current metagame. Second effect, while this card is in the graveyard, if a face-up earth attribute machine type monster on your field other than Machina's Colonel is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card. Well, this is nothing to be surprised about because this is kind of like a recurring trend in the Structure Deck R series so far. We saw this in the new Gear Freed, I think the new Phoenix Gear Freed for the new Structure Deck Art Warrior Strike as well. Basically, on top of being a brand new powerhouse ace for the deck, all of the new boss monsters for these revamped Structure Decks do seem to have effects that allow them to be called out very easily once they've been destroyed. So, very nice. I am really liking both the design and effects of this guy, a very simple and effective machine side boss. And next, we have a level 4 monster. And design-wise, I gotta say, I actually just saw this card being revealed on the OCG Twitter page a few days back. And I think it's the most sickest, one of the coolest, robots we've seen in Yu-Gi-Oh so far because it is not just a robot you know it is literally if you guys can tell from the design I'll move it closer a bit it's a robot that's being possessed by some kind of evil or dark spirit so it's like a ghost in a robot that, that is that is just insane anyway this is Machina's Possessed Storage and yes the name fits the theme this card names first and second effects can only be activated once per turn First effect. If this card is successfully normal or special summoned, you can target one Machina's monster in your grave other than Machina's possessed storage. Special summon it in defense position, but during the turn it was summoned, it cannot apply its effect. So, well, first of all, you can basically use this guy to just get Colonel out for free without having to have one of your Machina's destroyed. But I guess, oh, but it doesn't affect, it doesn't, the drawback of this effect is that the monster can't use its effect during the turn it was summoned, right? But that's not really a problem for Colonel, because Colonel's first explosive destruction effect is a quick effect which can be activated on the opponent's turn as well. So you activate it, Colonel comes out in defense, you end your turn, and next turn, Colonel can just blast off, dude. That is sick. Second effect, target one Machina's monster on your field other than this card and a spell or trap card on the opponent's field. Return both cards to their owner's hand. So, pretty nice, slick and simple, just removing the opponent's back row in case they are able to bomb you somehow. Next, we've got a super rare, the two before were ultras, Machina's Air Raider. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, you can discard one Machina's monster from your hand other than this card to special summon this card from your hand. So. That's an instant uh, level 8 out on the field for either like defense or just the material for extra summoning. Second effect, during your opponent's turn, so that automatically makes this a quick effect, you can target one machine type monster on your field. Special summon one Machina's monster from your deck with a different name, but a level equal to or less than the level of that monster. Then destroy the original targeted monster. So 
essentially, as the name suggests, like an aerator is gonna bomb one of the machinas on your field and then deploy uh, similar units with a different name. So of course, how this is useful in the first place is because it allows you to search out machinas that you want from the deck which you may not necessarily currently have in your hand or available in your graveyard for special summoning. So that's one thing. But the other positive benefit of this, this effect is you're destroying one of your machinas monsters by card effect, essentially meeting the conditions for Colonel's second effect and that'll let you throw out Colonel for free if it does happen to be in your graveyard. So man, no wonder these three cards are on feature on the playmat because the synergy between them and their effects is pretty insane. So I'm just gonna rearrange them slightly. Next up, we've got a spell card. Machina's Reformation. You can only activate one card with this name per turn. Choose one of the following two effects and activate them. First option, discard one card from your hand. Search your deck for two Machina's monsters with different names and add them to your hand. Second effect, discard one Machina's card from your hand. Search your deck for two Machina's cards other than Machina's Reformation and add them to your hand. So the second option is basically just an enhanced version of the first option if you happen to be able to discard a Machina's card from your hand. But the good, like this card is great because it lets you instantly search out Air Raider and another Machina's that you can drop to Special Summon Air Raider, which essentially unlocks your use of Air Raider's ability on your second turn already. So, if you run a lot of Air Raiders and you run a lot of, co of copies of Reformation, which I think is going to be one of the vital cards in this deck, it's such a good searching engine, you're instantly going to be able to go off really early in the game. Like, you're going to be really consistent drawing into these cards almost all the time. Okay, and next up we've got a Quick Play spell featuring Possessed Storage, Mail Factor's Command. You can only activate one card with this name per turn. Target one machine type monster on your field and equip to it one machine type union monster from either your hand or your deck. During this turn, that union monster cannot be special summoned. So, although I'm not too familiar, I am aware that the original Machinas or Machina is basically a deck that revolves around the union mechanic. So, I guess this quick play spell is supposed to kind of help with that. I guess as a quick play, you can instantly union from the deck while your opponent is attacking you and maybe increase your attack and counter attack in that sense. So it is a pretty interesting card that can mess with your opponent in certain ways. And yeah, if you activate it on your opponent's turn, then the drawback doesn't matter. You can just special summon that monster if you wish to during your next turn as well. Up next, we are moving into the normal parallel rares. Now, <laughs> I really don't like this rarity. This one's looking really shiny to the camera, can't really see anything. And this is Machina's Radiator. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, discard a Machina's monster from your hand other than this card to special summon this card from your hand. So essentially, this is the same first effect as Air Raider and as they are both level 8s, this allows you to get two level 8s on the field pretty easily. Although, I'm not too sure what uh, rank 8 exceeds machine type, are there any good options for that? I'm not sure. Well, I do know there's always Felgren. I can't remember whether Felgren's level 7 or 8 anymore, it's just been so long since I've touched that card or even touched actual cards in an actual game. Now moving on, wait, Radiator's second effect is also the same, same as Air Raider, except that it special summons a new Machina's monster from the graveyard rather than the deck. So if you guys have forgotten, essentially you target a Machina's monster on your field, then you search your graveyard for a Machina's monster of a different name but equal to or lower attack, you special summon it and destroy the original targeted monster as replacement. So in the same way, this is just a restricted version, less versatile copy of Air Raider, but as long as you have the options in your graveyard, it also allows you to bring out Colonel with as much ease. So it's not too shabby either. So we've got that out of the way, and now it looks like we're in but into reprint territory, Machina's Fortress, and let me just refocus back. Yep, these are all the older uh, Genex Ally Burnman. Ah, this one's new though. Machina's Defense Region. This card name's second effect can only be activated once per turn. First effect, while there is a level 7 or higher machine type monster on your field, your opponent cannot target level 6 or lower machine type monsters on your field for attacks or effects. Wait, that is insane! Coupled with how easy it is to bring out Colonel, Air Raider and Radiator, which are all level 8. I mean, Air Raider and, Air Raider and Radiator are level 8, Colonel I think is higher, level 10. But that is insane! <laughs> Second effect, if a face-up machine type monster on your field is destroyed by battle or card effect, Target one machine-type monster in your grave, add it to your hand. Wow. 
If the first effect wasn't good enough, the second one lets you recycle your resources, albeit once per turn, every single time one of your machines somehow gets busted. That is... I'm really liking this so far. It's very machine-y, fortress-ish. I love, love the gritty feel of this whole deck. Like, very military-style, robotic, firm defense, but also destructive offense. Love it so much. And up next, we've got a trap. Machina's Overdrive. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, target one machine type monster on your field. Special summon a Machina's monster with a different name from that monster from your hand or deck and destroy the targeted monster. Essentially the same kind of loop as Air Raider or Radiator, allowing you to easily bring out Colonel. Second effect, you can banish this card from your grave and target three machine type monsters either in your grave or in your banished zone. Shuffle those monsters back into your deck and draw one card. Dude, that is so good. Just, just a handy effect, you know, once you spend this trap and you have no other use for it, just let you get some extra resources off a of dead. Wow, that is pretty sick. And now we are just going to plow through Reprint Territory, all these old Machinas cards that I literally haven't seen in forever. Those were the, the Union Gang. Man, the art style is just so old here. We've got some non-Machina support cards as well. Scrap Recycler. Ooh. The Driver, Righty Driver and Lefty Drivers. Those were only exclusives in Special Packs until recently, right? Uh, Deskbot 001, 003, also known in Japanese as the B Bunborg, although I'm not too sure what that's supposed to mean. I draw Magnet Re Oh, Limiter Release, of course. This card. Of course, we need a Pot. Cosmic Cyclone's pretty nice. And, oh, Reinforce. Re or is it called Supply Chain? Can't remember exactly the English name. Cyber Summon Blaster. Oh, two copies of that. And Trap Trick. And uh, finally, we're ending off with a Solemn. And with that, that'll be all for this Structure Deck R opening. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about this new revamped Machina's archetype in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG booster box and product openings on the day of release. Our next release is going to be on March 7th, the new Deck Build Pack Secret Slayers, which is something I'm quite looking forward to because of the new archetype of Eldorado, which features an evil gold-wielding necromancer who's able to summon trap cards as his minion. So make sure you guys don't miss it, and i see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Our chance encounter, the power deep into my life, I will shelter you, protect you.